We brought in uh, 32 or 33 uh, musicians, local and foreign. After Istanbul, I came back, then we started discussing about uh, the low cost carry. And then I said, trade right on, okay, 50 50. So he, but he had to say 50 plus one. And it was an opportunity to play the big boys game. My name is Kabar Demranon. I'm 61 years old, graduate of uh, UITM and uh, University of Michigan Central Michigan University. Degree and also masters in basically business. Career-wise, I started work in Arab Nation Development Bank and then moved on to start my own business, which is a uh, Rosan Aziz production. Uh, we had Sheila Majid, our Sawati, Zana Labidin, and all that. And from then on, I started my own investment firm. And uh, through Rosan Aziz production, I met Tony, who is my eventual partner. And then uh, we started Asia. I guess the rest is history. Uh, I've always interested in business from as far as I can remember, even from kindergarten. Okay, uh, me and Rusan we goes way back in '74 when we went to school together in MRS and Quanta. And uh, he has always been interested in music. We have a band, or it's called Mr. Natural. So uh, he is so fixated in music that even uh, one of the band members who didn't make the cut. But to me, it was like, hey, we are among friends, right? We just like, jam together. But to him, he's such a perfectionist. And he said, oh, I'm sorry, he didn't make the cut. So he was out. So he's shown his inclination at an early stage. So naturally, when we, we, we remained as friends, and as soon as I got back from uh, the States, and was working, so he was telling me about this idea of setting up a music company. Uh, it was a concert, I think it was a Christmas day, is it? Yes, wasn't it? Yeah, Christmas day. It was a great concert, you know. I was just talking to Tony whether we can buy back from uh, Warner because they own the, once we sold the repertoire and all the things, so now they own it was a concert, the, all the videos and all the music. Okay, what happened was this. Okay, I know Tony from uh, the day we did his RAP. Uh, as soon as he's, he got back from uh, UK, right? So he hated Warner Music. So we used to discuss about, you know, Malaysian music and all that. So we managed to convince him to buy over RAP repertoire and start a new, call com a new company called RAP, uh, not Rosan Aziz Production, but Rap Music. So he didn't buy the company, he buy the repertoire including all the videos, the music, and the musician, and, and the, the artists and all that. So, once we convinced him, I remember he, uh, his, he uttered the last statement. He said, okay, because it was quite a negotiation, right, to convince Tony or Warner to buy over RAP. So, I remember he said, if ever I get into business, I want you to be on my side of the table instead of the opposite side. So, that's where our relations, relationship started. Lah. Tony contacted me one day, I think that was somewhere in 98, right? Just before, before the financial crisis. He wanted to, he was talking to me an idea about uh, doing something like BizJet, time sharing airline, right? Uh, we, we actually covered the model. I approached some friends who own listed company at that time because uh, stock market was very buoyant that, and Tumate was the best ambassador for business going all over the world, right? Uh, so business was good. Unfortunately, when we wanted to launch it, uh, the Asian financial crisis. Why an airline? Because we thought that the, the industry, there's, uh, there's an opportunity in that industry because it's not everyone can afford to fly. That's where the tech line came about. We may start as an airline. So before we say we're an airline, today we say we are a lifestyle company who happens to own an airline. That's when because of the different venture that we did. Because 
these are the things that complement the airline. You know, you may start with an airline, but what does one? Because you see, for people, people can't travel every day. So you you wanted a super app, an, a, a platform that people would visit every day. So you don't go buy a ticket every day, right? So you go there. But how do we get people to go and actually look at the opportunities or the offerings that we have on the airline? So we say we must find other businesses that allow or enhance or, or drive people to go into your platform. First, I'll take that into two parts. First part, AirAsia and Super is a natural thing. Because the same thing, when we started AirAsia, we went digital to some extent because you, have, you can have your online booking. Simply because when we started the airline, ticketing was to an agent. But we only have very limited routes, like two routes, three routes, right? So it depends because business is this. A lot of people make the biggest mistake is when you want to do business, you say, oh, let's say a restaurant. That's a great industry. Everybody got to eat. Inflation also, people got to eat, right? And you see a lot of restaurant, restaurant uh, becoming successful. Then you jump into becoming a restaurant. But you don't have the passion to be a restaurant. So the moment you don't make money, you give up. You say, why am I every morning go to the market, go and buy the produce, started the food and actually nobody comes to my restaurant or very little people very few people come to my restaurant so when the money is not there you tend to give up then you move on into another industry or another business it's very easy he doesn't agree i start my own <laughs> now we talk we'll talk about it and uh, we'll discuss and uh, and then I have to convince him as much as he has to convince me. That's why sometimes people say we are stubborn. You know, you look at it, so why we wanted it a certain way. It's not stubborn, it's passion. There's a fine line between stubborn and passionate. Because if you're passionate, you will hold on to your views until you or the other party convince you otherwise. You do business with friends because it's a natural thing. Someone you know, right? But then again, they must be married to that, that business and married in that relationship, in the person that you do business with. I won't do a business with a friend just because he's a friend. I'll do a business with a friend if he's at par with somebody else who I can be partner with. So you might as well do with someone that you've known for a long time. But not because he's a friend, I'll do business with him. No. To watch more of Dr. Dean's Inspire episode and other inspiring personalities, head on to AirAsiaAcademy.com.